All right, hi. Um, we're doing an AIPD course, Army Institute of Professional Development, Army Correspondence Course Program, uh, subcourse QM3504, Edition A, Direct Gauging and Sampling Operations. Lesson 1, Gauging Petroleum Storage Tanks, Critical Task 01510030036. Introduction, with the exemption of new light divisions, today's combat forces incorporate highly mechanicalized um, mobile weapon system that require vast amounts of fuel to operate many battalions at their own garrison, polk, petroleum storage, dispensing facilities, and in addition with the fleet of the bulk of refuelers to satisfy the highly demanded the rated as quartermaster officers, you may receive an assignment to one of those battalions to assume responsibility for military bulk storage tanks as a part of your duties. You're transferred to the combat service support battalion handles millions of gallons of petroleum products a day. As a quartermaster officer, you must know how to accurately account for the fuel. Although you're rarely involved with your personnel in accurate process of gauging, you must know and understand the procedure of effective supervise your personnel and patrol personnel. One, gauging. Um, gauging measures the height, height of the liquid fuel liquid level above the bottom of the tank image. The height of taking the a reference mark above the liquid level fuel is um outage. As part of the determinant of the volt volume of the contents of the tank, they often hold the bulk petroleum products many times and before you should use them, make sure that rad originally accounted for them throughout the handling that you maintain accurate records at all times. The accounting purpose to make sure personal product gauge pro products personal periodically to determine the quantity on hand, to verify the quantities that issued received to detect leaks and determine the terminal capacity of receiving the shipments. Two gauging. The following terms are used discussing gauge image outage reference point, datum plate, reference height, tape cut, bob cut, tank truck Capacity, tinker truck, capacity, opening gauge, closing gauge, bottom sediment, water, B and S and W, total me uh, measured quantity, gross quantity of product, and net quantity of product and corrected. The image, the image is the depth of the height of the volume of the product in the tank measured of the gauge from the surface of the product to the bottom of the bottom of the tank. Outage or eulage, the outage or eulage is measurement of the free space above the surface of the product in a tank extended from the reference mark. The reference mark. The reference mark is a horizontal line put on the rim, rim of the gauging hatch on the tack of the uh, tank representing the fixed point with the measuring of the made. The datum point is a level metal point with the tank bottom directly under the reference mark. The plate provides a smooth level surface from the uh, surface of the inage bottom bob to the rest upon when it takes taking an inage gauge. Reference height. The reference height is the distance of reference mark at the top of the datum plate. After, if you establish the reference of the height, stencil it in a conspicuous place adjacent with the gauging of the hatch. Tape cut. A tape cut is the line made on the t on the tape measured from the scale by the product may being measured. A bob cut is the line made on the bob by the bottom of the sediment of the water being measured. Tanker truck capacity. Tanker truck capacity is the amount of the product of the vehicle where the product reaches the adjustable marker installed beneath the dome of the each of the compartment. Adjust the mark in relationship to the type of the movement in the highway of the cross, highway or cross country. Opening gauge. The opening gauge is the gauge of the product um, taken before the delivery, issue, and receipt of the product. Closing gauge is the gauge of the product af taken after the delivery and issue and the receipt. Okay, the bottom sediment and water. Bottom sediment and water, B and S and W, is the amount of sediment and water measured in the bottom of the tank. The total measured quantity of the quant of the volume of the product in the bottom sediment and water in the tank of the observed temperature of the product of the timing of the gauging usually obtain the measurement from the tank's capacity table and stripping chart. No engineers develop um, tank stripping charts when you can when they're constructed tanks. Simply strapping charts or conver conver conversions tables that convert linear measures making the um, taken from the tape and the bob. Reading of the equivalent volume am amounts. No two storage tanks have identical strapping charts because the tanks have of the same size vary in capacity. And gross quantity of product. The total measured quantity minus the bottom sedi sediment and water is gross quantity of the product known as the net quantity or product uncorrected. The net quanti quantity or product correct uh, corrected. Um, the net quantity of the product is corrected as measured quantity of the product minus the bottom set of water and it observed the temperature converted to an equivalent quantity of 60 degrees. 
Gauging equipment, the paragraph describes the special equipment needed to measure bulk petroleum, tape, and bob. There are two types of tapes and bobs currently used uh, an inage tape and bob and an outage tape and bob, using them um, to measure the amount of the product in each in a tank. Each consists of a metal bob connected by a harness snap of the seal tape, graduated with one side to one eighth of an inch division of hose in a reel. The inage tape and bob, the inage tape and bob is a steel tape. With a one eighth, one eighth of an inch graduation, the first whole number of the tape is nine and or nine or ten. Consequently, it is nine or ten inches from the point of the top of the con conical bob. The first number of the tape from the tip of the bob on to the top of the eyelet is six point six uh, inches. The bob is made of non-sparking metal of the zero point of the bottom of the bob's tip. Refer to Figure One for the d illustration of an inch tape. And Bob, using the inch tape and Bob to determine the distance from the surface of the product of the to the bottom of the tank. All right, see so you see your inch tape. Um, you see you see a handle of tape of the crank, and it's uh, Bob, which is 10 inches from the um, top of the tape, with the Bob, the eye, and the harness snap. Outage tape and Bob, the outage tape and Bob, shown in Figure One Two, looks similar with the inch tape, except for the readings being at three inches level on the tape. Zero reference of the whether the harness snap connects with the bottom of the six inch long rectangular bob one eighth of an inch graduation starting with the six inch mark at the bottom when uh, you read the upward to one inch of the last hole number on the tape on the top. The outage of the bob has a flat nose and is made with non sparking metal. Use the outage tape and bob to determine the distance from the surface of the product to the top of the tank. All right, your outage tape shows the hand, the handle, the tape, and the crank, with your bob seven inches, and then the eye, and then three inches from the eye to the tape, from the high, eye and the hardest snap, marking zero inches. The indicated pa pa pass, pa pace, um, indicated pace, fuel and water indicated pace assists you to determine the amount of the respective liquid of petroleum storage tanks. Fuel indicated pace, indicating pace, fuel indicated pace is a petroleum base, um, base pace used in measuring the amount of liquid petroleum in the storage tank. It changes color when it comes in contact with the petroleum product. A water indicating pace, a water indicating pace is a chemical pace using the differentiating between the liquid petroleum products and water. The pace comes, changes color when it comes in contact with water, but not affected by petroleum products. Gauging six. Using a stick to gauge tanks um, and tanker cars and tank vehicles. Tanker car gauge stick. The tanker car, the tank car gauge stick is varnished from piece of wood or other corrosion resistant material, approximately three feet long from the outage gauge tank cars. The stick has two scales graduated in one eighth of an inch divisions with a common zero twelve inches from the lower end. Attached to the stick to, it is attached to the stick is an angle. When you place the stick in the angle in the, with the angle resting on the upside of the tanker car shell, the zero scale coincides with the underside of the shell. The petroleum gauge stick, a gauge pole var or stick varnished with a piece of wood or other corrosion resistant material used in an inage gauging small sanitary Tanks, tank cars, tanker trucks using a pole that is long enough to gauge to the tank approximately 10 feet for a railway tanker car. To prevent damage from the wood, to the wood poles, use an aluminum tip cap or one side of the pole has been scaled, graduated in feet of, uh, in inches to the one eighth of an inch division. The bottom of the t tip is zero point. Three, the truck vehicle gauge stick. Each tank, each tank vehicle has its own gauge stick graduated with a 25 gallon division instead of the feet and inches. The product is between gallons and divisions. You enter pole eight. Gauging precautions procedure gauging per tanks are according to AR 710-2. Observe gauging precautions and procedures during gauging. Gauging precautions. Follow the precautions on gauging tank gauge bulk storage tanks before and after any receipt issue or transfer operations. Ground the static electricity by touching the bare hand to the tank and shell and handrail before lime climbing a tank before performing a task. Open a gauge hatch allow vapors to escape. Do not stand on the roof of the tank when gauging. Perform the gauge on on the from the side of the gauge hatch when which has the wind to your back and if possible. Be careful not to breathe the vapors from the contents of the tank. Never perform gauge during an electrical storm. 
requiring the gauge personnel to stand at the same location of the roof, on, on the roof, but both the opening and closing gauges, if they must gauge while they stand on the tank's roof, perform the record gauging on the nest nearest one eighth of an inch. Repeat the gauging until you get two identical re readings. Be certain that the tape touches the rim of the gauge hatching all times to the ground static electricity during the gauging process. Wipe the tape clean and dry after use. After discharge of the product into a tank, let the product stand for at least 30 minutes to eliminate all static electricity before gauging it. Take the product temperature redoing, redo, reading from the volume cor correction before and after receiving issue volumes of 3,500 gallons or more using the same tape and bottom bob uh, for opening and closing gauges. Um, if tank, the time permits, allow a two-hour settling period for adding fresh stock to storage tank. Gauge all bulk deliveries for bottom wa for water bottoms before receiving the product. Um, before receiving the product, drain off any of the water found. B. Inage gauging. Using an inage tape, the bottom bob to open the height of the product of the tank. Follow these steps to retain the inage gauge. Using an inage tape, the bob direct the inage method of gauging atmospheric or other non-pressure tanks. Raise the appropriate hatch and cover lower. Locate the reference point shown in Figure 1, 3, and it is point A. Apply the water indicated with the paste to the bob. Do not point. Apply graduation portion. Apply the production and deduction paste to the tape at the level of the product in the tank. Apply the paste. Then thinly with the graduated side of the tape, ensure that you have um, hold the ungraduated side of the tape at the contact with the metal rim of the gauging hatch of the rim of the metal rim of the gauging hatch at the reference point as you lower the tape into the tank. All right, this shows the inch tankage inch tankage going in at the reference point at the top of the lid, following the inch tape with the product tape of the cut. Um, product level with the reference height a b a b and c being c being the bottom b being the product level and a the reference point at the top um following the inage tape of the product of the tape cup to the, to the product level the inage bob in the water tank of the datum plate lower bob and tape um bob and tape in the tank until the ta tip of the bob just touches the tank at the bottom of the datum po plate the horizontal plate uh, plane at the level of the point c if the lower the tape is too far from the bob tilts it you obtain an incorrect reading compare the ta tape reading to the reference point a in figure one three to reference point h reference uh, sorry re um compare the reading tape reading to the reference point a, point a in figure one three to reference height distance of point a to point c in the figure one three of the container to ensure gauge accuracy withdraw the tape of the thirty seconds and read and record the product tape cut on the tape of the inage gauge record rate read and record the water cut on the bob of the ba bo bottom sediment when water cut ensure that you obtain the identical readings to gain accurate measurement using a sample gauge and equipment gauging the hatches obtaining the opening of the opening and closing gauge be sure to lower the tape in the same depth on both gauges the outer gauge method the outer gauge method with, with engaging barges and tankers or tank AMRS is uh, also use outer gauge method to obtain the amount of sc uh, space for the yieldage remaining in the tank you should use all the safety precautions you may use may you may use the method of the storage tank when necessary to get an outage or yieldage measurement using an outage tape or bob follow these steps ensure that you apply the product indicated with the paste length on the bob hold the unmarked side of the tape against the metal ring rim of the gauge hatching the reference point point a in figure one four lower for the tape and bob into the tank until the bob touches the surface of the product at point b in figure one four wait until the bob is motionless lower the tape slowly and until the bob is the two or three inches below the product surface of point b in the figure one four pro presents the product of the surface record the reading of the tape at the reference point point a in the figure one four as the tape reading withdraw the tape quickly record the product cut of the, as on the bob as the bob reading um, read the scale of the nearest one eighth of an inch and less than one quarter of an inch reading applicable if the product cut is hard to read the end of the product indicating paste on the bob and the gauge and take again um, at the bob reading of the tip of the tape reading of the gauge outage gauge subtract the outage gauge from the reference of the height of the tank of the color inverted outage gauge into the inage gauge to the inage outer um outage gauge to the inage gauge follow the example shown to how to perform this step Examples: Use one quarter inch readings to tape the re tape reading from reference point at 21 f f feet six inches. The bob reading plus or minus three quarters of an inches, and the outage gauge at 21 feet nine three fo nine foot three inches. Um, that's plus or minus plus three and three quarters of an inch bob reading. 
All right, you have your reference um, reference point and figure and the figure the reference point of the image gauge, the image bob, the product product bob cut, the product level cut, the coated with the fuel indicated the pace, the shell outage, the reference height for your outage, and then you have your reference shell outage, reference point, outage tape, outage bob, product cut, bob cut, product level and coated with the fuel indicating pace. No, if the tank is gauged with the cell, um, is calibrated and only, and is if the tank being calibrated only in inch measurements, call, convert the outage gauge to an in, to an inch gauge using the following procedures: use an outage gauge above 20 foot, 9 foot, 3 and a quarter inches, and assume the reference height of 50 feet. In actual practices, use the reference height of the tank being gauged. Um, the outage gauge of 21 foot, 9 three quarters inches, and from point A to point B, the reference height is 50 feet. Point A to point C. The inage gauge of the distance between point B and to C to convert the outage to inage supply and simply subtract the outage from the reference point and example from of the product is files. Height and distance inage gauge 50 feet or 21 minus 21 foot 9 3 quarter inches 28 and 21 4 and quarter inches. Perform the bob cut um, cuts of the bottom sediment water using an inage method. You only use an inage bob. Bottom sediment, water, bottom sediment waters. Storage tank containing the liquid petroleum products are measured with the bottom sediment water each tape at the time that they are gauged and determine the actual point of the product. Figure 1 th 5 shows how to use the bottom sediment water measurements. Bottom sediment and waters accumulate in different parts of the tank bottom. They usually accumulate on the side opposite of the filling line or either side of the outlet. When the tank has several hatches gauges out from each hat, average them to the bottom sediment water gauge for the whole tank. Follow these steps to measure the height of the bottom sediment water. Use the water indicating pace to determine the water. Put in the thin, uh, thin, even coat paste on the part of the bob that just is the point where the water product meets. Before care, be careful not to put too much so much that the bob can cause the false reading. If the depth of the water is greater than the length of the image of the bob, um, apply the water indicating paste to the lower portion of the tape. Measure the water in the tank. Hold the side of the tank against the metal rim of the gauging hatch and at the reference point. Alright, so we're checking the water page. Um, you got paste on the water that shows the um, you have your reference points. Uh, a and B, the um, bottom of the tank, the top of the tank, and B, the product level. And you, from the A to B, you have the inage tape, the product tape cut, the product level. And from B to C, you have a water inlet, a sediment, water, and in your water inagement from the datum plate on the and the inage gate coated with paste with the water cut. And then to the product level, um, if there is any, uh, if the thing is, if the water's past the bob, then t um, coat the tape. Lower tape the bob in the tank until the bob is short the distance of the bottom. Determine this is comparing the length of the unwound wand tape with the reference height of the tank. Unwind the tape slowly until the tip of the bob touches the tank. Bottom of the datum plate, do not let the bob rest on the rivet, otherwise or other obstructions do not lower the tape so far that into the tank that the bob tilts causes an incorrect reading. Keep the tape in the bob engaged position at 5 to 10 seconds of kerosene, gasoline, or other light products. Keeping position for 15 to 36 for heavier products. Removing the tape in the bob from the tank portion of the bob waste in the water should show the discolorization record the water cut as the, as the bottom of sediment and water. Temperature measures. Um, because of the volume of the petroleum products increase and decrease, the temperature change in an accurate measure of the temperature of the product is taken when, the, when you gauge it. Then you can correct the measured quantity to the standard temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit volumes over 3,500 3, gallons. When gauging large quantities, you take the temperature reading the various levels of average of determining with the true temperature of the product. Figure 1 6 shows the number of the readings and necessary at the level at which to place the tank the thermometers. All right. Um, the depth of the product of more than 15 feet, using the minimum number of temperatures of three, three feet below the surface of the product, middle of the product, and three feet above the bottom. 10 to 15 feet um, depth of the product, and the minimum number of temperature measures two, two feet, um, two, three feet from the surface of the product, three feet from the bottom. Less than 10 feet, um, one, one temperature metal, my, one temperature thing from the middle of the product.
Use the cup case thermometer to measure the temperature of the product of the storage tank. The thermometer is attached to the hardwood backing of the base of the mercury column extended within the cup base. When filled with liquid and under the measurement, the cup cape minimizes the fluctuation of the reading. When suddenly withdrawn from the thermometer tank, the figure 1.8 shows the minimum immersion time of the various fuels. To avoid the long immersion time of the measuring heavy petroleum fuels, leave the thermometer suspended in the tank at all times. Follow these procedures whenever you're measuring the temperature. Examine the mercury column for each of the cup case thermometer separation. Replace any thermometer having a faulty column. Mercury separations cause incorrect readings. Inspect thermometers for accuracy. Expose them as a group then um, to the same atmosphere. Temperature can compare the readings. Replace any thermometer with a reading that differs from the group of one degree, one degree Fahrenheit or more. Provide all tank thermometers against the reference standard each year. This shows your cup case with the thermometer in it, approximately one, 16 inches, approximately one, eighth, one by one eighth of inches, and two inches. Um, the pro automotive gasoline, motive gas, uh, a aviation gas, and kerosene, diesel fuel, jet fuel, and grades one and two burner fuels. It takes two, um, five minutes. Um, to grades four, five, and six of the Navy special burner fuels, 15 minutes. These columns are table four, minimum immersion time of the cup cases, API standards 2543 ACSTM designation D1086 um, product listing are not comprehensible. Using figure 16 to determine the minimum number of the readings measurement leading levels required for the operation, do find the true average temperature of the product attached to the thermometer to the end of the gauge of the tape, brass, co brass coated with a chain or cord if the cord is tied and not in the cord so that the knots show whenever the thermometer reached the required level. Lower the thermometer is required level and level there in the amount of the time shown in figure 1.8. Then take the thermometer out of the tank and read it. One shelter the cup below the tank. The hatch reduce the temperature change caused by the wind atmosphere. Withdraw the full cup of the product from the tank. When the reading, when taking the reading, do not spill it. Record the temperature to the nearest degree Fahrenheit. When you gar gauge your large quantities, take several, several temperatures, readings, various steps. At the all the readings divide the sum of the number of the readings to to get the true average temperature of the product. For example, the assumed the tank contains 20 feet of product takes temperature 17, 20 feet, and 3 feet, and 3 feet below. On um, the top surface of the product, the middle of the product, and or at 3 feet above the bottom, assume that your readings are 82, 81, and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As these readings divided by 3, the number of the readings to get the average true temperature of the product 82, A plus 81, plus 80, 243, divided by 3 is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. 81 degrees Fahrenheit is the true average temperature of the product in the sample. Spot on seven volume ca um, calculation. Performing volume calculations, quantities of fuel of 3,500 gallons more than less quantities when directed by the higher headquarters. Follow the steps to calculate volume. Obtain the total measured quantity from the tank capacity tables. Obtain the bottom sediment and waters measured by the quantity of the tank capacity tables. Subject the bottom sediment and water measured quantity of the total measurement quantity to assure. Obtain the net volume of the product uncorrected. Measure the um, American Petroleum Institute of Gravity appropriate with the hydrometer. Remember to convert the AP gravity corresponding gravity at 60 degrees Fahrenheit provided instructions how to perform this um, conversion is found in paragraph 9 Using the following um, fuel cons um, classifications, API gravity test procedures, draw 300 millimeters on the sample fuel, take the sample, then shelter place to test it, shake the sample to mix it, slowly pour the sample into a clean or dry hydrometer cylinder, um, filling it with three quarters full, uh, allow air bubbles to rise, tap the cylinder top and with a cupped hand, to remove the surface bubble, select the thermal hydrometer that has the range close to the API gravity of the fuel. Gentle lower the thermal hydro hydrometer into the sample. Spin the thermal hydrometer to get its rest of the middle of the center away to the side. Wait, wait with the hydrothermal hydrometer float the freeway away from the side, reading the nearest scale division. Point your eye set, I, um, slightly below the level liquid. Raise the slowly until the surface of the liquid appears level. To record the reading of the observed record temperature on the thermal hydrometer. The two readings that you take from the thermal hydrometer are observed on API temperature. The DA form 3853-1 inch gauge sheeting of the DA form 3853-1 shows the line, figure 1-9 to fit, record opening and closing gauge the line, the lineal reading volumetric equivalent in gasoline as well as the observed API use of the correcting quantities at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep this form on the file for each gauging and each inventory as backup data. All right, um, now for figure 9. Observe the gravity correction. Make the API gravity with the correct hydrometer listed in the figure 110. Hydrometer gives the API gravity reading observed with the temperature reading with the sample. Convert the observed gravity reading from the API gravity to 6 degrees Fahrenheit using the tables prescribed in AR710-2. This shows the sample uh, inch gauge sheet. 
And then you have your NSNs for the hydrometer graduate scales, cylinders, cup case, replacement thermometers, and water indicated um, for these items. 10. Fuel classification. To classify the fuels, the following um, steps. Compare the corrected API gravity through the API gravity range. Particular product is the corrected with the API gravity. Compares lower the higher than the product gravity range. The test results indicate possibility of commingling with the product with the heavier or lighter products. If the corrector API gravity is not less than and not within the range of the fuel being tested, isolate the mark of the fuel and container in the sample of the fuel and send the fuel to the supporting laboratory for supporting laboratory for analysis, disposition, instruction. Do not use the fuel until the receiving the disposition instruction. 11. Volume correction. The volume of liquid petroleum products changed with because of the change in the temperature. When the temperature of the product increases, the volume of the product increases. When the temperature of the product increases, decreases, the volume product decreases. Therefore, the corrected gauge for volumes in excess of 35 gallon, uh, 3,500 gallons to account for this change of volume. The standard temperature of the volume measured for the petroleum product at 6 degrees Fahrenheit measure of the petroleum product the volumes exceeding 3,500 gallons. Correct the measurement to what would have been 60 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, the temperature greater than 1,600 so greater than 60 degrees Fahrenheit, your measurement shows the more of the product if it would be 60, at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, you adjust the measurement accordingly. Likewise, if the temperature less than 60 degrees Fahrenheit, you might measure less than the temperature where at the standard 60 degrees Fahrenheit, you, you just added reading to the standard. Follow these steps to make volume correction. Gross volumes is quantity of the petroleum product, the bottom sediment and bottom sediment water net uncorrected volume and the measured quantity in the product amount minus the bottom sediment water at the to be observed the temperature before the conversion to the equivalent quantity at 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Make sure all the tanks are individual strappings, charts, and calibration takes shown the volume product in the tank of the per, 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 um, um, foot and inch, even the fractions as an, of an inch, usually one-eighth, to determine the total measured quantity of the tank of the product of the bottom sediment water using the sample stripping chart to be uncertain with the gauge determines the volume of the water and the tank and the volume of the only um, the the volume only the volume the charge the permanent um, product is left remember the safety subject subtract volume the volume never in, in never in inches or in from inches the resu resulting figures observed but the temperature reads to be corrected with the volume is 60 degrees fahrenheit to determine the multiplier necessary to convert the volume observed with the temperature at the volume to 60 degrees fahrenheit you need to average the tank of the temperature api gravity of the product Use the following, for example, the making the volume corrections. An inch gauge, tank capacity, 500 barrels, tape reading, 6 foot, 3 and a quarter inches, bob reading, 1 inch. Measure tank, tank temperature, 67.5 degrees, API gravity at 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 56.3 JP4, converting gauge readings to the gallons. Refer to figure 111, convert the bob cut of the 0 feet to 1 inch to 45.41 barrels. There are 42 gallons per gallons per barrel. To calculate the number of gallons, multiply 541 times 42 gallons per barrel. Um, that results in 227.22 gallons. Note the actual practice referred to the ch chart for specific grit tanking and being gauged. Refer to figure 1-1 one, one, to convert the tape of the cut to 6 feet 3 co and a quarter inches or 17,096 um, and point fifty two gallons. Since the figure does not list the 6 foot 3 and a quarter inches, you need the quantities of 6 foot this need and then 3 inches for finally for one, in, one for and finally for 1 quarter inch. Then all the add the quantities figure 111 shows the 389.48 barrels for 6 feet or 16.23 barrels for 3 feet inches um, and for 3 inches. Um, 1.35 barrels for quarter inch. Some of these um, measurements are 407.0.6 barrels or 7,096.52 gallons. Again, actual practice, you would use chart for the particular tank being measured, not in figure 111. Note that you're determined on corrected volume of the tank to find the tank's corrected volume, find the volume correction factor, figure 112. In order to use the fact you must know the API gravity of the product of 60 degrees Fahrenheit rounded off at the nearest five, fifth of a degree. If the problem is API gravity 56.3, round this figure to 56.5. You need the measured tank the t um, temperature, which is 667.5 in this problem. 
Locate the tank temperature 67.5 in the left hand column of the volume correction table to figure 112. Go across to 67.5, the rounded to the API gravity of 60 measurement of 56.5. Read the volume correction factor from the table at the point at which the temperature line of the API gravity of the column intersects. The volume for correction is, 0 point, is 0 0.9950. Subtract the volume of the bottom sediment water 227.22 from the gross volume 17,096.52 17, to obtain the uncorrected value of 17,096.52 gross sum and minus 227.22 bottom sediment water you get 16,869.3 for the non-corrected volume multiply the net volume by the uncorrected volume um, 16,890 16,869.3 with the volume correction of 0 0.9950 and you get uh, 16,784.953 round off the nearest gallon report 16,785 gallons at the corrected volume this shows a gauging chart between the barrels and the inch of the depth and the this one shows the API gravities at different temperatures from 60 degrees um, Temperatures and Fahrenheit factors converting the volume to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It shows the API gravities at 60 degrees Fahrenheit are a factor for completing the volume. Lesson 2, sampling petroleum storage tanks. Lesson 2, um, sampling petroleum storage units, critical task 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 39. Introduction. The same response to mentioned in the introduction lesson of the subcourse of the quarter master must be able to identify the different sampling procedures, determine the procedure for the use of the various situations. As a petroleum management officer, you must learn to supervise the sampling of various petroleum products of lesson provided with the instruction in these areas. In general, the importance of the importance of the sampling cannot be overemphasized. Using the sample to determine the quality of the petroleum product, the sample the small amount of the petroleum, which represents the whole product, to refer to the extract of the field manual 1018 shown in the appendix B. The requirements testing and sampling petroleum products. This extracts also include a minimum frequency for such testing according to the product bulk and mat packaging as extracts of the field manual 1018 shown on appendix B point out whenever you suspect. Product of being specification testing and sampling product of the using testing type A and the testing type B. Note that after using the sampling equipment to be obtained the represented sample of the different petroleum products from the various petroleum containers ensure that it's personal operating base laboratory mobile laboratory petroleum testing kit inspection testing sample and determine whether or not they meet the specifications. Type of sample the paragraph defines the following types of samples top, upper, middle, lower, bottom, all levels, spot, composites, single tank composites, multiple tank composites, outlet, average, and drain continuous. Top uses the bottom bottle leak, bottle or breakage similar to the tap of the top of the sample the six inches below the surface of the tank to um, of, of the tank contents. Upper the bottom bottle or breaker sample taken at the upper sample to the middle of the top of the third of the product. Middle the use of the bottom of the breaker or or breaker sample taken from the middle of the sample to the middle of the product cut. Lower use of the bottle of the breaker or the sample of the lower sample to the middle of the bottom of the third of the cut. The bottom of the use of the bacon bomb thumb each sampler to make a bottom sample of the material product with the bottom of the tank. All um, all levels take all levels of samples submerged with the closed bottle ba um, beaker samples all closed with the possible with the bottom of the tank or container then open the sample and raise it to the uniform rate so that it was 675 to 85 percent when it comes to the, out of the liquid. A spot to take a spot sample, um, specifically place it in the tank. Uh, age composite a composite sample combines with individual sam um, samples representing the bulk, and then came from the samples can come can be in a single tank of the multiple tank composites. A single tank composite, a single tank composite sample is blended with the upper, middle, and lower samples of the tank contents. The blend has equal parts of three cro crosses sections from the tank with a uniform section, as the upright cylindrical tank um, has uniform cross section sections. Multiple tank composites, a multiple tank composite sample is blended with the single and all level samples taken from the tank tanker or barge compartments and that contain the sample the product of the sample consists of the part of the proportion of the volume of the product in each of the compartment sample outlet the bottom of the bottle of the breaker sample taken with the out of the sample at level of the tank outlet whether the fixed or swinging the average and average sample is the consists of a proportional part of all sections of the tank and the drain take a drain sample from the draw off the discharge valve 
and continue with the continuous sample from the pipeline will allow the product to collect slowly in a sampler during the entire flow rate. The continuous sample represents the stream of the product during the period it was sampled. Three, safety. Due to the volatility of the petroleum products, use caution when the drawing off the sample. Draw samples only with the manner product with the subcourse. Uh, in this subcourse, whenever working with the petroleum facility, always consider fire prevention. Four sampling procedures. Obtain the sample to represent the entire quantity of the product. Unless, unless uh, otherwise, the analyst analyze your product will reflect the quality on only a portion of the whole substance, and the quality, quality that is reflected may be better or worse than the true quality of the product as a whole. Normally, she should collect one gallon sample for the liquid product of the five pound sample of the semi solid product. Collect five gallon sample of the specifically sample of the gasoline sample. Use the test performance number of the supercharged method. Also, collect five gallon sample of jet fuel to sample the thermal stability. Use standard sample to describe the paragraph F, the one best suited with the product of the container carrier. Use an improvised sample with the sample of t- opening in the t- to, to the most small to use the standard sampler. In any case, be sure you have a clean sampler and is made with the material cannot contaminate the sample. Samplers are described in later in this lesson. Clean the sampler and sampler container rate, rinsing them with the product being sampled. However, do not rinse the items with the product if then taking with the sample the particular um, cont- particle, particle, particulated, particulated containment sediment. Protect product of the sham- samples the shipment protect the gasoline, jet fuel, kerosene sample, the direct sunlight using the brown bottles, cans, and covering the clean bottles with paper or foil, keeping the bottles with gasoline, JP Cool, for cool, 30 degrees, 400 degrees, degrees Fahrenheit. If possible, to prevent loss of light ends, protect the samples when containing lead additives from the sunlight. As a serial number to each of the samples, the entire the number of the sample, the log of the two digits of the calendar year, the sample the number of the, the year to make the number. For example, the number 81 is the first sample for the activity of the calendar, activity of 1988. Number 88.2 is the next example to keep the station log with the record of the sample submitted with the designated testing laboratory. Maintaining a laboratory log is the permanent records of samples recorded received for the testing entering on a log. The date, the date of the receipt, the type of the product, the unit sample, the number of the source of the sample, the quantity of the sample that represents the same, the number... Samples, sampler's name, the date of the sample, the date of the completion of the test. Sampling equipment, you can obtain the um, samples of liquid petroleum pr- products of the following five prote- types of samplers. See figure two, one for weighted breaker, the drum thief, the breaking, baking bomb thief, the weighted bottle, and tools of thief. A weighted beaker, weighted beaker, a weighted copper beaker um, sampler consists of a copper bottle permanently attached to a lead base attached with the stoppers and drop cord so that a quick jerk on can often sample Open the sampler to any of the beneath the surface of the product. The use of the can- sampler to obtain the top, upper, and middle, and lower, and all level sample liquid petroleum products from all the tank of the cars, the tanker trucks, the barges, ship tanks, and shore, shore, shore storage tanks. The drum thief, the drum thief, it's a plastic cylinder. The tube type of the sampler consists of the two pieces of the single piece of the plastic tube within three, 39 and one half inches long and one and a quarter, half inches in diameter. The tube has two finger rings at the upper end of the may have three supporting legs at the bottom. Both ends of the taper have openings. Use the drum thief to take some spot samples in all sample level of the drums and can and spot sample small sample. Spot samples closing the top of the opening with your thumb with a totally submerged with the sampler in the product, then removing the thumb from opening and all the products of the fill in, in the tube from the level desired using the drum from the thief of the drums and cans. Um, for all samples, remove your thumb from the opening and submerge the tube into the product after the tube fills with the place to um, place your thumb over the opening and withdraw the sample. The bacon bomb thief. The bacon bomb thief is the tanker car thief. It's a nickel plated brass cylinder tapered with the bottom end fitted with an internal plug van- plunger valve. The valve opens automatically with a st- sampler strikes to the bottom of the container. When you lift the sample from the bottom, the valve closely automatically makes attached for the trip cord to make it possible to open the cylinder at any level using the bacon bomb thief to take bottom samples and take samples in the storage tank of the tanker cars and tanker vehicles. This shows the weighted breaker, um, weighted beaker, the um, drop cord handle, the cork of the copper casing, lead base, the drum thief with the top opening finger pring in the tube and the bottom opening, the baking bomb with the plunger cylinder valve in the tr- trip cord and drop cord, the weighted bottle, the lead casing, glass bottle, cork and drop cord, the tubular tank th- thief for the Tulsa thief is the bottom sediment and water gauge with a single chain tri- 
trip and a slide opener. Slide opener. The weighted bottle, the weighted bottle, glass um, cylinder sampler consists of a glass bottle with a square weighted bottle holder attached to the drop cord with the ring and the stop of the weight of the bottle weighted with the box. Brake samplers are used in the same manner for the same purpose. The only exemption is the weight of the bottle has the wide mouth and can be raised with the sample. Heavy light products, the weight of the product is used to sample. Only light products use the weight of the bottle for all the vapor pressure and oxidation stability samples. The tubular tank thief or the Tulsa thief. The Tulsa thief is the metal cylinder opens with the bolt edge. When you activate the closure, you seal the bottom of the cylinder, trap the product in the cylinder, activate the closing mechanism, mainly using tugging on the cord automatically by the touching of the bottom of the sampler. Using the Tulsa thief, samplers take the bottom sample in the storage tanks and tank cars and tank vehicles. Six, sample containers. For example, containers you may use clear or brown glass bottles or cans. Use the best suited type of the sample container with the product for the purpose of the test. As mentioned previously, the size of the liquid samples usually gauge from one gallon to semi-solid using five pounds. For special um, samples, for example, those that test the supercharged thermal, 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 thermal stability, use a sample for at least five pounds unless the sample size is otherwise specified. Se- seven, sample si- um, sampling pro- pro- package product for package product when you need representative sample shipment when testing necessary, although you can obtain the guidance as how do much kind of product constitutes for the representative sample from your division material management center or DMMC for the critical concerning with dealing with the package product that is submitted with the right of samples. Package petroleum products are produced in batches. The batches are not equally divided in the first by shipments. For example, one case of motor oil can contain more than one batch. Inspect each of the containers that you sample. One only affected batches. Your desired result is to send representative sample of the affected batches, not from a good batch. Also, you receive the test results concerning the samples, keeping affected stock away from the good batch, good products, so that you do not issue the affected stock accidentally. Eight. Portable Petroleum Testing Measuring Kit. The petroleum Portable Petroleum Sample and Gauging Kit shown in Figure 2.2. Bulk storage facilities use it the following purposes. Gauge tanks measure product temperature, detect bottom sediment in water, and make volume correction, calculations and sample fuels. Your ASTM me- method t- um, pamphlets for the carrying case, hydro media cylinder, weighted bre- breaker, sampler, um, brass coated chain, hand the engine tape in the bob, gravity computer, Weight, weight, water indicating pace, sample bottlings, gasoline indicating pace, bypass coated chain, gu- gu- cup case thermometer, cheesecloth, and a hydrometer. You can find the kit reference in, sub- in supply catalog 668090CL901. It weighs 22 pounds and consists of aluminum carrying case fitted with the measuring sampling equipment with the major parts of the kit. Olive drop aluminum carrying case, cup case thermometer at 11 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit range. In its tape in the bob, hydrometers ranging from a 19 to 81 API gravity hydro cylinder with a removable base, weighted breaker sampler, weighted mouth sample bottle, brass coated chain, gasoline indicating pace, water indicating pace, cheesecloth, gravity computer with the case and American Society with the testing materials and tested and pamphlets. Nine sampling and testing requirements outlined outlined in Military Handbook 200. The minimum sampling and testing requirements for determining the quality of petroleum related products. If responsible, cognizant petroleum officers should maintain strict quality surveillance. You may increase the frequency of the testing, considerization, conditions, stockage, age, storage, age of stock, type of the product concerned above. Oh, what is increased in testing conditions are warranted. The type of the test used in the testing product stored in the bulk at the installation depots are. These types are tested with the petroleum storage stored in bulk at in installations or depots are type A, B1, and 2, B1, B2, B3, C, solid millipore, flash points, explosive, and visual checks. Further to the publication extraction appendix B, the table A1 displays the minimum frequency testing various deep petroleum products. For example, the table A1 shows the dormant bulk and package display fuels t- requiring testing every 12 months. And the table A2 provides information about the type of samples required. When you finish the sampling type of the test, perform the final page of the tab A with a brief description of each of the type of the test provides additional information. Use the appropriate type of the test on petroleum products with stipulation saying that the inspector with the product at least annually with the discretion of owning an inspection authority that have regarded the type of the product, age, stock, and conditions of storing. 10. You can proce- Procedures. You can reduce the sampling to a simple set of the procedures because of the many the difference with the petroleum product transportation, storage, and sampling testing. Contact your supporting laboratory for the specific guidance for the following procedure of minimum precautions. Use an approved sampler, approved containers, ensure the personal use, cleaning, sampling, equ- equipment, and containers sent reasons to sampling, samplers, and containers with the portion of the product being sampled to ensure that the product is not contaminated with a previous material. 
All right, note that when a sample is sediment tested, um, use only the sample containers with the previously rinsed petroleum. Either do not use the container with the rinse with the product being sampled. Clean samples immediately is used before taking the continuous sample draw enough to displace all the product with the sample lines. Take the samples from the hose after the discharge about two times the volume capacity of the hose. Do not fill the sample container above 90% of the capacity. Seal the tightly and um, use the clean dry clams brown bottles to protect samples of gasoline jet fuels kerosene from direct sunlight attached completely the form DA form 1804 petroleum sat mold tag to each container log each sample with a serial number your facility and inform informal sample log you just see you when note when you receive the DA form 2077 petroleum products laboratory analysis report at your facility note in your formal log comply with any of the remarks before filling the form of the future reference and that was Direct Gauging and Sampling Operations, the QM-3504 Edition A, Army Institute of Professional Development, Army Correspondence Program. Directing Gauge Sampling Operations.